Let's have a go and see if we can do this. And I'm going to have to rub this off in a second, but hopefully you're okay with that. From A0 to A1, I've kind of just broken the first year into two halves. But now I'm going to do the whole next year in one hit. There's always two things that happen. Which thing happens first? You subtract withdrawal. Undo withdrawal, right? So I start with whatever I had before. I then withdraw. Sorry, not 50, it's 75. So there's the withdrawal that happened at the start of the year. And then the second thing that happens is the interest calculation, right? So it gets multiplied by 1.04. Let me pause there. Are there questions? Yeah, no? Worth pausing on? Not worth pausing on? Okay, I'll keep going. So again, we have this instinct to want to just use like, oh, I know what this number is. It's a figure that's in my calculator display, okay? But I'm actually going to use this longer line here because it will serve me better to establish the pattern. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in what A1 is. I'm going to put a big square bracket here so I get this right. Here's A1. It's the original million with a 1.04 interest calculation. Then you've got this guy, which is the first withdrawal. It also has an interest calculation. And then I'm going to break onto the next line because I need the next column. That's A1, right there. That's A1. Then I do the next withdrawal, close my bracket, that's everything in the brackets, and then my interest calculation happens. Does that make sense? So far, so good. Now at this point, I can say, oh, I'm starting now to form like the same kind of scenario that I've got here. You see the powers there are starting to emerge. Um, you've got to be careful with your index laws here. But what have I got here? I'm still doing a 2. Um, I'm going to expand out everything. So that 1.04 gets multiplied by everything inside. Okay. So there's the original million. <laughs> yep. Um, and it's got two lots of that interest calculation applied to it, right? Then you've got this 75,000. It's also got two lots. That all happened in the first year. And then I've got the most recent one, right? We'll put it under there. Okay. Now, let's pause for a minute before we do the next one and think about how this is similar and how it's different to the superannuation question we were doing last week. How's it similar? Can someone tell me at least one similarity that we've got? You're minusing things. I'm minusing things? Did we do that in superannuation? Oh, I feel like that's one of the differences, right? Oh, oh, yeah, okay, from here, yeah, that's, that's building. Okay, Tavar, what do you say? Okay, so, so this is like things are getting smaller, yeah, as we saw. It started at a million, then it was 962, and then whatever, okay, it keeps going. Um, what do you see, Moe? You're establishing a pattern, but in this pattern, it's not like to the power of 3, to the power of 2, to the power of 1. It's to the power of 2, to the power of 2, to the power of 1. Ah, yeah, that's a bit funny, isn't it? My powers here, and um, it's true there's a 1 implied here, which I have not written, but it is helpful so we see the pattern as clearly as possible. This pattern seems different to the one, like, go turn back a page or two to the superannuation, superannuation questions we were doing together. Um, we usually had them going up nice and neatly, 1, 2, and then 3, or 4, or whatever it was. Why is it not like that for this? Have a think. The powers are not the only thing that's different. I'd love you to go back, turn back a page or two, go back and have a look at your superannuation question. I want you to think about the thing that's happening regularly, right? Is the question why there are different powers? Yeah. yeah, what's going on here? Like, why is this not a, a three? Why doesn't it just keep on going up? The total from another total. Ah, very good. This whole term here, right? Please look at an example of a superannuation question you did and then have a look at this. Just look at them side by side, right? Do you see that this whole term? doesn't have a counterpart in our superannuation questions because this is like your end point for superannuation. It's like, oh, I got to a million dollars, hooray, right? This guy here is kind of separate to this GP that's forming over here. Does that make sense? We're going to get more and more terms here that have $75,000 on them because you do it every single year. But that million, it just kind of hangs out there from the beginning of time, right? It gets interest applied to it, but it's not like I have several of those. There's just that one guy sitting out the front, and it's always sitting out the front, always sitting out the front, always sitting out the front. Does that make sense? Okay. A3 is where the pattern is kind of established, so let's try and do that. 
by now, you're getting the hang of it, right? Two things happen every year. What are the two things? They're right here, right? That's why we wrote them down. Withdrawal and interest. So let's do them one at a time. Here comes the withdrawal. You start with wherever you were at the beginning of the year, and then you subtract. Withdrawal's done. And then what? Interest. Interest. So I'll multiply by 1.04. Okay? Now, here is the previous year. Okay? So what's going to happen is, I'm going to write that in. It's going to be a bit long and gross. Apologies. But it is important to establish the pattern. And then I'm going to subtract the new $75,000 I'm going to use this year in my retirement. So here we go. Um, here comes A2. I'll do a big square bracket here. One million. With that. <clears throat> Minus this one. Minus this one. That's A2. Did I get it right? Does it look okay? I got all the terms there, right? That's A2. I then have to subtract one more time. Where am I going to do it? I'm going to do it here. So that's the amount that we just withdrew at the start of this year. Close off my bracket. And then what was the second thing that happened? Every year, it's the same two things that happen, right? I'm going to do the interest calculation. Multiply by 1.04. Now I wonder if you can see the way that I wrote this line here in A2, I've got this original amount hanging out the front and then I'm trying to show the rest of it kind of flows together and I'm going to write the next line. My pattern will be established in the same way here. Here comes my a million. How much interest is on it? How many years worth? It's three, right? It's three. You can see at the end of the first year, you've got the one. At the end of the second year, you've got the two. So now I'm up to three. That was the point of doing a pattern. Okay? Um, and then you've got all of these withdrawals, all of these many withdrawals. They all start with 75,000, right? Uh, then you've got the first one, which is from the longest time ago. You've got the next one. And then you've got the most recent one. Have I got enough to establish my pattern? I think so, right? Three terms, one, two, three. Now have a look at what the question says. It says after 10 years, right? That's where we're going, okay? So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to generalize. I'm gonna say, what about the nth one, okay? So I'm gonna say, this is a three, dot, dot, dot. What will a n be? Hmm. So there's the million hanging out the front. How many times has interest been applied to this? Remember, this is the nth case, right? N times. It'll be n times. However many number of years you've been after retirement. Okay? And then we've got these guys. Okay? So you've got 75,000. The very first withdrawal that you did, right? it happened in the same year as you started this whole thing off. right? So it's got how many lots of interest applied to it? N. Also n. And you can even just see the 3 and the 3, they match. So this n and this n must also match. So far, so good? Um, then I've got the next one. If this one was n, then the next one down will be one less than that. So it'll be n minus one. Is that okay? Like so? And then there's going to be a whole bunch of them, right? You're going to, every year that you do this, the very last one, the very last withdrawal will always look like this. Can you see that? In fact, I'm just going to highlight it here. In every line, A3 has this one. A2 has this one. A1 has this one. The last withdrawal always looks the same. Yeah? So that's where I'm going to finish. Okay. Do you remember, we didn't like writing so many terms, right? We want to get to uh, a formula that I can use which captures all those terms together, just like we did with the uh, salary question at the beginning. Okay? Now we're almost there, but this still looks gross. I think we can make it better. Okay, does anyone need what's on the left-hand side? I'm about to clear it off. Is that okay? Let me take a 